Welcome back guys. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in this kind of content, but uh, throughout my life I've always been into RC trucks and whatnot. And I had a few of them a while ago. And it's, it's been a couple years now since I played with them, but in the past like six months I started getting back into them. I bought a little mini crawler and then I bought basically like a Traxxas Slash, but it's a different brand. It's an Arma Sentin. So that's kind of more of like a fast, like rip around rally type RC truck. And I'm on my way right now to go buy a crawler. It's a 110 scale crawler. So it's like the normal decent sized one. Um, it's an SCX 10. So it's like a newer style four wheel drive. I think those ones might be a two speed transmission. I'm not completely sure. I'll have to check it out when I get there. I think it is. Um, but anyways, pretty cool crawler truck. Going to grab that now. So I think I might try a couple of these videos, see if you guys like messing around with RC trucks. If so, I'll make a bunch of videos with that as well, because that's going to be part of like camping and swimming, fishing, camping, traveling, RC trucks, just a bunch of stuff like that in general. So if you guys like it, watch along, but I'm going to get that now. So here is our new remote control truck. As you can see, it's pretty decent size. Next to my hand, it's a 110 scale, so they're pretty decently large, not crazy though. Um, you know, it's got the little motor in there, your battery. The, the actual motor, that's just obviously a little visual for it. The actual motor is up under there. I'm not gonna be able to see it from where we're at, but it's it's pretty big, honestly. Oh yeah, there you go. It's, it's behind the casing of the motor, but the thing is big. Got the little fake guy in there. You can see him. Um, these headlights work, the light bar works, and it's got tail lights, four wheel drive, um, with front and rear, uh, lockers are in them. So you can't turn them off and on, but they're constantly locked. Um, and it's a two speed, so you can go first gear, second gear. So if you want to go slow or fast, um, yeah. And then a bunch of little settings. I'm currently trying to figure out how to adjust right now. Cause you can switch from a two speed tranny to um, a trail mode where you can lock the rear tires and spin the front so you can turn easier. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. But then I am pretty much just got a battery charged up, ready to go. I'm pretty much going to go out back in the woods and crawl around in the little stream I got.
figured I'd show you guys my little workbench here. This is my uh, my little mini crawler. This one's the 124 scale, uh, SCX 24, little four wheel drive Chevy truck. Um, got my little toolboxes, one of the remotes. I got two chargers, couple batteries. This is my Sentin. Um, it's a four wheel drive truck. I have it in two wheel drive though right now because it does donuts better that way. And then this is the, uh, the new truck we just got. Obviously got the body off. Um, got one of these little work benches so I can put it on. Makes things nice and easy to work on. So yeah, that's my little workbench. So I'm in the process of remounting the light bar so it's not on the top and it's like more above the windshield. Found out that I can actually plug in the headlights and the light bar at the same time. So I'm just gonna wire in the tail lights to the headlights so that they're pretty basically just one plug so I can make everything work. There we go. Light bar is in a pretty good spot, I think now. I like that there. Next thing I'm trying to figure out is if I should take off the fender flares. Um, obviously, it leaves more room for like flexing, but if I take them off, I'm gonna have to actually cut the body so I don't leave these holes there. I mean, I could leave them there, but it wouldn't really look that good, so I kind of have to decide if I want to do it once and for all. I can't change my mind after, but I don't know, I kind of like the flares too at the same time. There we go. Headlights on, light bar on, and tail lights all together. I just kind of wired them in place with each other and good to go. So it's all ready to go now. I found a way to stick my GoPro on the front. I wanted to do it further back so you kind of see the windshield and everything. This way you're only gonna see just the front pretty much, but it's enough now to mess around with. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take it back down some of the trails, but do it with some GoPro footage now. I've gotten it stuck. It pretty much only gets stuck if it gets high centered under the middle there. It's about the only way it gets stuck, but I'm gonna see if I can get it out before I take the easy route.
So there you go guys, there's the new Jeep, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna try to improve with my RC truck videoing skills. Um, this was kind of just a first little test run to get used to the cameras and whatnot and try to mess around. The GoPro makes the truck way more top heavy so it rolls over way more. Um, the only times I've ever rolled it was when the GoPro was on it because it's like a good five inches above the hood probably so it makes it a little bit heavier on the top end but overall pretty good video so we'll keep messing with this keep getting more videos um gonna probably go to some like actual trails and some cool places with it and get a bunch of neat videos so there's a lot more to come with it but if you guys liked it make sure to leave a like comment if you liked something or if you want to see something else and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one